Here in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. I tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me. I tried to get by, but I'm burning. I really need, I really need time.
you know, I'm on a lunch break, went home to see the girls, and was like, let's kill a few birds in one stone. I still need, you know, a tire. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and get some air in my tire so I don't have to deal with that when I'm off. Let me go ahead and get some gas. I won't have to deal with that when I'm off. So I went to visit the girls. They're good. Went to the gas station. This guy here is blocking like the entire air pump. Like you can't go. You're either going to have to get in front of him and hope that it stretches this way so you can get some air or go behind him and hope that the hose stretches that way. So I park right next to him. Like clearly, like you see that I need to use this because why else would I be parking next to you? Okay. So he sits there, doesn't do anything. So I park a little ways like near him and I got out of the car. Go to the pump obviously i need to use this since i'm now getting out of my car that i've parked right next to your car and i'm trying to use this pump asshole sits there as if you know hey i'm like wow so i pull the pump i move the car and back it up right next to his or right behind his and then i pull you know the cord the pump thing whatever to make sure it's going to stretch so when it did i went to go ahead and use the ear so what happens when I'm done because I only need you know it gives you like five minutes I only need like 40 seconds less than a minute of air you know that it took me so there's like four minutes left he hops out of his car and uses the rest of the air sir I would respect you more if you had moved your effing car out of the way so I won't have to go through this to try and get some air and then you go use the rest of my air which is fine it was going to go to waste but how long have you been sitting there just waiting for someone to come and use the air? Like, you're pathetic. Not to say it like that. I know people go, you know, through hard times. But like I said, I would respect you more if you weren't blocking it. Like, don't inconvenience everyone else. And then you're pretty much sitting here begging for air. I may sound horrible right now in this moment. I'm not a horrible person. But it's like the common sense stuff. And it's like the lack of, you know, giving a crap about other people. You know, because what I could have done, because he sat there the whole time while I'm trying to get air, what I could have done is just held that until all the air went out. But I'm not that type of person. But I am the type of person that will get, you know, an attitude if you're trying to inconvenience me. Move your effing car out of the way. Like, why is your car here? If you don't have the money to get the air, you need to move, sir. You know, I, I, I'm so baffled by, by how people think it's just okay let me go and inconvenience this person. I don't care what's going on. And then turn around and go use the rest of the air. Like filling up all of his tires. Like, sir, seriously? So, with that being said, my etiquette classes are coming. You know, I may need to take my own classes. You know, because my attitude sometimes goes from zero to two million in seconds. But it's that type of stuff right there. Because I am a humanitarian, but I don't like people that do stuff like that. You know, I, I can't stand that. It's inconvenient. It's rude. First of all, it's inconsiderate. And sir, why? Why? Because that could have been avoided. I would also respect you more if you just stood outside. Hey, I just need $2 to get some air. You, you could have done that. Like, I don't know how long he was sitting there. You know, sometimes, and I do understand the pride thing also. I understand that because I have some pride myself. So I would have never just, you know, sat there in front of the air, like tank thing, thinking, you know, I'll just block this, you know, who else needs air, whatever. I, I would never, but that's just me. Okay. All right. So it is uh, 10 o'clock. I went to work at nine, a little before nine, because I had to add some air. Well, I left my house, obviously, before nine. I had to grab coffee and then also, um, I'm gonna put you guys up here. I had to grab a coffee and then also, uh, my tire was flashing, my tire, uh, on the dash, it was flashing that I needed air in a tire or the tire was low, so I had to get some air. When I went to grab that, luckily, Someone had just used it, so I didn't see any cars. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's running. Let me use that, you know, because last time someone used my ear. So, yeah, I used that. I, um, I got some air, actually both tires. 
needed air, but I was only able to do one. Um, so right now I am currently at Gerald's and the reason I'm at Gerald's is because today is Saturday. I work on Saturdays, but my manager was like, hey, yeah, so um, you go on home. Yeah, you go on home. It was like 9, 15, 9, 18. And I had just gotten to work at nine. She's like, yeah, I felt bad that you weren't able, you know, to use all of your time. Go home. <laughs> Don't say anything to anyone. So pretty much do not like, just go. So I left and here I am I'm getting some air in my tire or I don't know what's gonna happen. Not air, uh, patching or just getting a new tire. <sighs> Is what's gonna happen. So that's what I'm doing right now. And you know, it's it's quite sad that I'm having to go through this. Like, first of all, why am I at Gerald's? Like, why am I at Gerald's? You know, because I have road hazard. I don't understand why I'm even here. This should have been an appointment where I can just like just drop this off and go pick it up. Like I deserve concierge service. And you know, I do understand that eventually I do understand that eventually, like, things are gonna happen. I don't really know why this guy is, like, right there, but he needs to move. Don't do it because it was a pretty stretchy. So yeah. I used twenty for my. Any help in that way? Okay, may you want to use I said 2021, so it's 2023. It's our last picture, London and myself. Well, I'm getting ready for bed. I've been braiding my hair all day. And it is super, super bright. It's yeah. 22. Twenty twenty three. Goodbye.